I'm Carl Gehring. I'm the executive officer of the 501st Legion. My mother sat there with me when I was two years old and three years old, and she drew pages of stormtroopers. And I would sit there and meticulously copy every single one of them. And that taught me how to draw. And today I'm a graphic artist and an illustrator here in Houston, Texas. So there's a very direct link between my love of Star Wars, which happened very, very early, and what I do as a working professional today. When I was 19, 20 years old, I started looking around the internet and figured out that there was a group of extraordinary people who were dressing up like stormtroopers in their spare time. And I had to be a part of that. And so I did the research, I got involved, and I built my first set of Stormtrooper armor in 2002. I was originally there for the costuming, and then it slowly transitioned into the community. And finally, the real reason that I'm still involved as much as I am is the charitable aspect. I have a member here in the South Texas area who has been a longtime volunteer of Make-A-Wish. And so we have the 501st Make-A-Wish endowment that came out of that. Our first initial promise to them was we were going to raise $150,000 in five years and we raised $150,000 in nine months. So the 501st Legion Make-A-Wish Endowment is dedicated to granting wishes of a Star Wars nature to children facing critical illnesses. At Star Wars Celebration this year, we had a goal of all of our different clubs coming together to raise money for one wish. And the target amount was $10,000, and we raised almost $31,000 in one weekend. Eight-year-old Angela's wish was to visit uh, Disney's Galaxy Edge in Disney World. And it takes them away from, from what they're dealing with for a moment and puts them in a place where they could just absolutely have fun. And I like being a part of that.